Hey, we we titled we titled their segment "Grumpy Old Men" because they they have gone on a whim. Oh my God! Here we and go. And are bringing back Rasheed Wallace <laughs> back in the NBA after two years of sitting. And last time he played, he was a shell of himself. He was out of shape. And his back was bad. How much can he help the Knicks? Uh, say that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You know, you hear that death silence? Yeah. That's how he go. You can't. Said by Sheet Wallace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could give them access to his connect. That's about it. They could smoke good. That's all I see him doing with the Knicks. Sheet is a, it's a, geri- it's a geriatric weed head. <laughs> You know, <laughs> on the why they on the why they sign that dude. <laughs> you know what? I, okay, really, really maybe he threatens somebody. <laughs> <laughs> right now, my reaction to that is is is, is somewhat similar. Remember on Chappelle show, and and they had this segment movie on movies. <laughs> you remember that? You remember that segment? Yeah. Remember and, yeah. and, and and the two white ladies were talking about uh, going with the wind. And, and and they was going on. Oh, I watched this movie like twelve times, and he was just like rolling his eyes. And that's how my reaction is right now. You understand? <laughs> when we're talking about Rashid Wallace joining, that's that's my reaction. You know? Why? Because yeah. <laughs> they're the Why? Knicks. They're the Knicks. They do dumb shit better than anybody else except the Jets. <laughs> See, this is exactly why I'm this, and I'm and I'm dead serious. This is why I'm going with Brooklyn. I'm attending Brooklyn games this year. I'm not I'm not going to see any Nick games. I don't care if anybody gives me tickets or whatever or what I'm going strictly to Barclays. That's it, man. You understand? I cannot <laughs> oh, I just can't, man. I can't with this I can't with this team, man. I just can't they, do it, man. They, make they act like it's not no you know, talent out there. No, so they, they could have. Me. I mean, go get the people from the D League or the undrafted players or something. First of all, Andre Blotch and Chris Humphreys and, and mm-hmm. Bogans were all out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All those guys are in their late. To early third, you know, late twenties, early thirties. You know, those are guys who are in their prime. Not Marcus Canby, who is thirty-eight. Not Jason Kidd, who's thirty-nine. The the dude they signed from Europe, Europe, Pablo is thirty-five. Iman Shumpert is coming off a knee injury. Ronnie Brewer is coming off a knee injury. Amari Stoudemire hasn't played for us in the playoffs. Man, this is the right. Knicks we're talking about. <laughs> they had access to young Michael Jordan. They wouldn't <laughs> sign him. It's an FWD, man. <laughs> man. It's the F.W.D., man. They, they curse and they're stupid. Bad combination. <laughs> they not even cursed. They just they just stupid. Yeah, see, see and, and, you know, we've gone over this time and time again, gentlemen, and, and people have chimed in on it and whatnot on, on the Facebook page and, and calling and whatnot. Why is it that we can, with the payroll being as high as it is, with the resources that they have, you need to tell me we have gone decades without a FM championship in this goddamn city? I, I mm-hmm. just, I can't let that shit go. That effing bothers me. <laughs> that bothers me. We're not a small market team, for Christ's sake. We have effing resources. What the freak, man? This, he this don't care. Off, that, dude. That, that dude, that drug-addled, wannabe, freak, hippie, man. rock, guitar, blues-playing dude don't care. 